Well, back here at the World Angus Forum 2013 at Rotorua, and with me now is Bryce Schumann. Bryce is the CEO of the American Angus Association. And welcome along, Bryce. Thank you, Tony. You've got a fairly big job over there. How long have you been the CEO? Uh, the last five years. I've been with the organization uh, 14 years. Yeah, and to, to work your way up to that position, what, where have you been? Uh, I started out with uh, in one of our subsidiaries, which is uh, Certified Angus Beef. And I worked with uh, producers and feeders that were trying to target uh, certified Angus beef. Worked on uh, procuring quality genetics and management practices that helped improve the quality of the beef they produced. Um, after that, I went to uh, activities and worked uh, on our conferences and uh, planning our shows. And from there, moved to member services. So I worked with uh, all the registrations and uh, everything that goes along with uh, running a breed association. Now, uh, how many members in the association over there? Uh, 25,000 members. It's a few to look after. Uh, 5,000 are juniors. Uh, we have, uh, we work with uh, a lot of our affiliates who are folks that have registered Angus bulls transferred into their name. Uh, we've got a database of uh, roughly 65,000 of those that we communicate with on a regular basis to uh, get them the most up-to-date information about the genetics that they're purchasing. And you have, uh, talking to you earlier on, you've even got a TV studio downstairs in, in the building. Yes, we have our own uh, television show that's on uh, a similar format in the States called uh, RFD TV. Yeah, so that's, that's getting that information out pretty quickly. Yes, we've reached uh, about 2.5 million people in this last year with uh, uh, our show, The Angus Report, and then the special we do uh, featuring our members called uh, I Am Angus. Now, the World Angus Forum over here, have you uh, noticed a few differences over here, the way that we work compared to you guys, working with our association and things? Uh, you know, some of the basic functions of the association are the same. The registering of the animals, uh, the collecting of the performance information. Uh, there's some differences in how they use technology in the business. Uh, for example, uh, we've been very involved in integrating DNA technology into our genetic evaluation. Uh, that's the weights and the measures that are for the production traits that uh, in this country they would calculate EBVs for. Yeah. Uh, we do a similar uh, national genetic evaluation, but uh, we calculate EPDs, which are very similar. EPD, standing mm -hmm. for? Expected progeny difference. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's not too, not too much different. Not too much different. Yeah, yeah. And and what have you? One of the main things that you've taken out of being over here on the forum, for personally. Uh, it's the uh, how the how technology is evolving. Uh, you know, we were an early adopter of uh, DNA technology, working with companies like uh, Zoetis, and uh, uh, many of the other. Uh, societies around the world are starting to adopt that technology as well. Uh, it gives you the ability to make a more accurate genetic predict prediction at a much younger age. And so uh, that's a great benefit to the people that buy registered Angus bulls. Yeah. Because uh, they know the traits that they're interested in if they have been genomically enhanced, have greater accuracy, so uh, they can put greater confidence in what they're buying. Save it a bit of money and a bit of time. You bet. Yeah. So you'll be back way back when? You're way back tomorrow? Uh, yes, I'll be on my way back to uh, St. Joseph, Missouri, where the headquarters of the association is. Well, we'll have a good trip, and I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you very much.